Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here. I just wanted to let you guys know that Mike Wang literally does not sleep. This dude is up 2 o'clock in the morning throwing out haymaking tweets about NBA 2K22. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Turn on Noti so that you guys will know when I drop a new video. But let's really talk about NBA 2K22 as a whole, the whole entire news cycle. This has been a very, very awkward news cycle that I've ever seen. Now, in the last three to five years, 2K kind of has had the same rollout. They drop a little bit of hints about when the game and the pre-orders and stuff is going to happen. Then they got this big rollout about who the cover athlete and stuff like that is. Then they go into a rollout of, hey, did you know that we have a couple new features? And they drop out news articles and stuff like that. And then after that, they kind of go into that, hey, it's time to show them a little bit of what the game may look like. So they start dropping all these screenshots, all these new players on new teams. Then they go into the rating cycle. Once they get done with the ratings, it's kind of up from there. They have to wow us and try to figure out what to put out to make us want to buy the game. So after the ratings, usually they say, hmm, let's if we have a demo this year let's let them know about the demo but since we don't have a demo this year they're kind of stagnant and trying to figure out okay how are we going to wow them and i just found out what they actually wanted to roll out for us so they can get us on that hook so let's talk about it now remember that tweet that i told you guys about around two in the morning that mike wayne put out that is because this nba 2k tv video dropped and of course after this video dropped everybody probably started tweeting them the whole community got riled up and mike wayne basically had to explain it within a tweet because words do get misscrewed so uh let's go ahead and give it a listen release content throughout the entire year um, so, you know, on day one, we've usually just thrown all the animations at you, all the signature moves and shots and everything. Um, but we're going to try and roll that out across the year uh, just to kind of change the meta up a little bit. Wait, <laughs> wait, did Mike Wang just use the word meta in a video about a video game that has a hundred, a hundred metas? Like, did he just do that? Okay, look. You know what? Let's let's run that back. Hold on. Wait a minute. Just throwing all the animations at you, all the signature moves and shots and everything. Um, but we're going to try and roll that out across the year uh, just to kind of change the meta up a little bit, uh, give people something to look forward to. And uh, it's really going to, I think, just prolong the life of the game and, and make people uh, just excited to try new things as the year. Mike, Mike, I don't know who you've been listening to, Mike. <laughs> that ain't it, Chief. <laughs> that ain't it, Chief. Hold on. Wait. Mike. Did you just say that you're going to hinder players from learning all the animations on day one and give them out throughout the year? <sighs> Mike, Mikey, 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 listen, you're going about it the wrong way. Nobody said give us battle pass animations throughout the year. What we want is content throughout the year, not animations. We want content. We want new new designed items that you can get by just playing the game you don't have like give us a battle pass that gives us items like if you paid for the game if you maybe bought a certain amount of vc or whatever the case may be give us items throughout our prolonged career like the grind to 99 I believe that we should be getting sleeves shirts sneakers hats uh backpacks on that grind if you're in the park if you're reaching those levels like think about it when you reach let's say what was it elite three and stuff like that and you used to get the mascots and stuff like that why not give us the unlockables so when we do reach that tier we can at least wear a mascot before having to spend over a hundred thousand vc sometimes even 300 for a mascot give us the unlockable so we can see it so when it's time for us to wear it we have it for free because it's content just imagine you have all these elites and stuff like that running around a park. Yes, some of them can afford it, but others can't. People just grind the game. People just play the game. So why not throw a free mascot out there for people for content throughout the year to keep it fresh so people could actually want to grind? Some people just say, oh, I ain't never going to make it there. Why? Did you see how much that mascot costs in the store? 
I'm never going to buy that. I already spent $100 on the game, sometimes $150 on games. I'm not doing it. And I had to build three or four different my players, and I had to buy VC every time I did that. I'm not spending money on a mascot. I can't, I can't afford it this time around. So why not give them something free? Why not give them certain animations for free once they reach a tier? Like, say, for instance, they go to All-Star 3, right? And they get certain running animations and stuff like that. Why not give the people 5 to 10 animations out of a 30-pack for free? Why not do that? Why not give people content like that so they can try these animations on and see if they like them instead of having to buy, 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 buy? Let's let's move on before I start ranting. All right, so Mike Wang tweets out, new seasonal animation content drops are for my players only, not NBA players. <laughs> he just says seasonal animation content drops. Do you mean we're going to have fall animation drops, winter animation drops, spring animation drops? summer animation drops do you mean to tell me we're gonna get new animations next august september huh <laughs> the goal is to keep the game fresh all year long and to encourage players to use signature moves that they otherwise may not have don't worry there will still be a ton of variety to choose from at launch mike i'm telling you that Ain't it, Chief? Is 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 just not it. I'm sorry. It's just not it. I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. But within that, I know you guys are probably in the uproar right now. Listen, say whatever you want in the comments. I will approve every comment. You can talk about the game however you feel. Let your truth come out. But let's talk about a couple tweets that he was actually replying to. Uh, he said, "What's the most important?" Um, is us using the controller. Will the muscle memory of dribbling be the same? Will we have to learn how to dribble again? Mike said, dribbling is probably closer to 20 than 21 control-wise. Holding a pro stick always shoots like 20, but there are new moves and combos you're going to want to learn. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, there's another tweet that I peeped, right? This one right here. He said, and can you please let us stay 99 after all the hard work we put in? Instead of losing our 99 stats if we lose a game, some of us don't have squads and play with randoms. Huge question. And Mike responded, you won't lose 99 this year. Not only that, you know I had to tweet. You know, you know I had to come in. You know I had to come in and tweet. You know what I'm saying? My man, my man. I need, I, listen, we needed that. We 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 tired of playing all these games, scoring thirteen to fifteen points, and still losing your overall after a win. It it, it just got it just got bad. Now um, let me see. So basically, he's letting people know overalls won't drop. Um, how was shooting changed exactly this year? It says hard to explain in the tweet. Main change is much larger, weighting towards coverage. We we got a crazy update from NBA 2K21, whereas though if anybody was just in a vicinity, even if they had defensive badges, even if they had high overall block or perimeter defense, you would get up to like 30 to 40, even sometimes 50% contested. He said, aiming is gone. Sorry, Zen boys. Your time, never coming back. Never coming back. Never coming back. Listen, that's the only way you can fix it. Take it out. Um, I explain more in the upcoming courtside report in a couple weeks. Shooting is more predictable this year. I'm pretty confident the community will like it. Now, wait. Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. You just said, I can explain more in the upcoming courtside report in a couple weeks. It's August 21st. Mikey, Mikel, Michelangelo, Mike, it's August 21st, bro. The game is supposed to drop September 10th on all platforms. What are you talking about in a couple of weeks? Do you know what a couple of weeks is? Because I know what a few weeks mean. That's like three. A couple means two. Bro, we ain't got like you. I swear, Mike. Please do not drop a courtside report on my birthday. If you drop a courtside report on September 5th, 
I promise you, bro. I'm gonna be so mad at you, bro. I just wanna, I just wanna enjoy my birthday. I don't wanna sit up here and contemplate and try to make a video around your course I report on my birthday, bro. Let me live, bro. Come on, Mike, man. Dang it. All right, what else we got, man? But Mike, Mike definitely did a good job, man. Um, is steady shooter going, Mike? Please say yes. And he said steady shooter is going. So confirm steady shooter badge is finito um will it just be locking existing animations behind the seasons concept some of the new content is from previous 2ks like the curry slide but most will be new okay um can we dribble after using after a step back using square again no but you can if you trigger the shot with the pro stick okay all right trying to make it a little bit harder um to to hit those step backs let me see um Where's the gameplay? Lots of info will be hitting soon. So dude asked for gameplay here and Mike said, you know what? We got lots of info, man. This is coming out, baby. Hey, um, let me see. Uh, okay. Hold on. Um, will animations and SIGs be limited per position? For example, will we see power forward center able to use the curry slot and other animations if their playmaking is high or will certain animations be locked to certain positions? Now, I think that Mike should not have answered this because basically he said, um, we're gaining more animations based on size and ability this, this year. Basically they do that every year. But the problem was um, in 2K21, you can make a 6-7 power forward and you can raise his playmaking so high that he could play like a 6-3 guard. And the funny thing is a lot of people loved it. A lot of people hated it. The community is always on one other side of the, of the spectrum. But if you say that you're going to base it on size and ability, you're always going to lose because... Most power forwards are not freak of natures like that. Small forwards are freak of natures all the time. The only freak of nature that's like that is Giannis, and Giannis can't even dribble like that. So when you think of a, a power forward that is literally one of the best players ever in the league, dribbling, shooting, dunking, playing defense, is really not a player out there. If anybody can name that player inside the comment section, go ahead. I will, I will, I will bite my own tongue. But I have never seen a power forward, curry slide, pull up for three, contact dunk on, on everybody in their mom, and playing stellar defense at the perimeter and in the paint. I've never seen it. So that answer that he gave him, hopefully it, hopefully it works out. Um, let's see. Real player percentage still being a game. He says yes. So I'm guessing this guy is going to create a build with a terrible free throw. But since he knows how to time a certain uh, free throw in my career, he'll probably translate that over to um, wreck or something like that. And, and it's good that he, this guy uh, dropped the question about wreck. So that's always good. Um, let's see. Will you only be able to purchase them during the duration of that season? Some content will be season exclusive, but the actual on-court gameplay six shots and moves will stay in the game once they're dropped. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mike, if I get a good good jump shot and you take it away from me in a new season, I won't be happy. Shots won't be taken away, only added. Okay. Um, And it looks like Mike may have went to sleep after that one so yeah mike, mike went to sleep um hold on what's that i think that i think i think that is rookie that is rookieville right if i'm not mistaken let me look over here um that's rookieville and in the back it's the city okay yeah yeah, yeah. that's definitely it yeah, okay all right let's make whew. boy was getting scared out there but yeah, after that, man, Mike went to sleep. Ooh, cargo shorts. It was fire. I ain't gonna lie, it was fire. All right, but yeah, after that, Mike went to sleep, guys. Mike Mike took off his hat and, and went back to sleep, man. But listen, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure that you guys hit that like button. I'm going to get up out of here. If you guys have any comments that you want me to read, please put them inside the comment section. I would love to start a dialogue and conversation with you guys. And also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And everything's always appreciated from y'all, man. I love y'all, and I will see y'all next time.
Peace. Oh, also, if you was um, wondering about the Cell Squad uh, merch, yeah, link in the description. See y'all later.